Yo, what's up everyone, Nimbardar here and welcome to Let's DD Tank and it's been a while when I've done this because I've been so busy with my work but now I have finally some time and uh, I'll be showing off some new updates of the game as well here so let's get right to it so first thing I want to clear out for you guys that there is quite a lot of new things in the new update version the DD tank 3 is still on but I think the new version is DD tank point 1 or 2 I'm not so sure but either way let's get right to it so um, when you fight the cave bosses you will receive the the additional rewards if there are the mount card shards I'll be showing them off now in the moment and um, there's quite a lot of things that is going on lately but let's go and see what the new place has is changing I'll do that a little later so here is magic house um, I've gotten information that this is only open for level 40 characters so this is what the magic house looks like so basically you need to collect one of these weapon all of these weapons come on and uh, plus these magic points that you need to sublime to get this a Activision. You will also get a title, Magic Journey Apprentice, Magic Senior Apprentice and Magic Master. Now of course you need to just to own that weapon in your League pack back or in the Magic Backpack that I will show you in a minute. Oh come on guys. So you need a <laughs> Fallen Angels Cycle, Magic Lollipop, and Angels Guardians Vand. Um, I have this, but I don't have these. Then you need the Pumping Cannon, Three Star Flames, and Octopus Cannon. Then for the Magic Master, the Vand of Hermes, Two Star Magic Lollipop, and Epic Ice Rod. So, and also at down below here, there's this magic chest. You can open this silver chest once per day and it will contain five items. And the items can stack, they can have multiple of them. And the golden chest have bigger chance to give more items you uh, know well to receive magic potions, advanced ma weapon shards, energy stones and soul stone but it costs uh, 150 coins and you can also do it five times in a row which costs of course 750 so you can draw for free and this is what I get today like this you get five items they can change and they probably will change it will not always it will most likely never be the same And don't worry about the DD statue because you need coins for it and uh, you really need a quite a lot. So let's go to Liga. In the Liga backpack you can also access the magic house. In the this location treasure Liga backpack. In here you can also store items that you don't really need right now and you can unlock this with coins but they cost quite a lot if you go to the way down here you need 53,550 coins to unlock 90 treasure slots yeah that's a lot and in the magic collection you can see the same thing so yeah, so in the Lego backpack I have these 
mount uh, if I can see them here oh they're here okay sorry so these I'll be showing off what do we do with these but before that I'll just discard those useless scraps because I don't really need them mm. yeah I'll do this a little bit later because it's not necessary and also um, I forget the show you can also get um, you can get these you can get these that I have no idea what you need them for you can get these as well and uh, you can get pretty much anything you can get also these if you're lucky enough I've gotten them too so as you can see so what do we do with the mount guard shards I had this question in my mind for a very long time and finally I found what you actually do with them you go to the armory and you head to the metallurgy this has been a little bit changed because you can see the icons like weapon, jewelry, card and drill so yeah and also synthesize and others here's our like well this is something very interesting because you can with 12 sorry uh, with 12 level 1 practice spells you can have level 2 and uh, magic potions you can have these dusks that I haven't received and uh, you can also get an ancient dragon but you need this ancient dragon seal advanced but the success rate is again is very low like in the weapons in the synthesize you can create this the stones and at the cards you can actually use the mount card shards to create these cards they have success rate but the success rate is very big but in order not to fail I suggest that you have the weapon sh weapon parts like these quite a lot of stacked and um, do and do and do it until you fail and you will get then you go to the cards and you most likely will get that card so what do you do with the cards once you have done once you have it you go to the gallery this was locked before and the, the card will be here with the 120 you can get this let's I'll show them off oh no 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 don't you go there go to the armory yes okay there we go uh, here with 120 you get the fire and card <laughs> with 120 you get the green and card which is blue but I'll let it slide Lumper card with 160 happy horse with 160 little donkey with 160 Rhino, Rhino Keros with 180 and war horse with 200 and then there is these yellow and these summoning cards but you need these guardian hearts that I have no idea to get and they have 35% of success against well I have no idea where to get though these since we are in the armory let's go to the furniture there's also something that is new um, nothing here yeah this is still the same the spirit is also the same but the ancient is something that is uh, lastly released so you get you can get these soul stones that you can actually use to enchant your jewelry and increase enchant value by 10 points so this is the enchant value and I will read the help for you the equipment that can be enchanted include 
bracelets and rings. Enchanted equipment can receive an enchantment stat. The highest level of enchantment is level 5. The higher the level of the enchantment, the higher the stat can be boosted. Once you are successful with the enchantment, the effect will be active after level 5 jewelry refining. So, what this means, you have to have level 5 uh, bracelet or ring to be able to act to be activated at the moment. Right now, I don't have anything active because it quite needs a quite a lot. So you need 100 to get this all the way down, and the one is 20 coins per piece. And since we need 100, it's gonna cost 2,000 coins to just to get the thing but as you can see here you can actually see that the enchantment gets active you get macked and am mad attack and am defense which is very cool and let's look in here you get the same or is it the same it's dirty um Yeah, it is completely the same. But if you try to look uh, something that is not, if I could, yeah, it still shows, but it's kind of complicated. Uh, something is not really playing the game with me, but it will be always the same no matter what. Guess it. Enchantment will be active only at level 5. So now let's go back to the mount. Sorry. So, you, if you have the card and you will be successful with it, you can actually activate it. Then you can actually ride it. You can also, you will get stat boosts from that card. Like my Warhorse card, I get 5 damage, 300 health, met at M attack and M defense 60 but you cannot get alpaca for some reason I have no idea where to get this card because it's not in the armory and back here is some other slots and I these are not open currently and they're not even shown but you can actually get all these cards but I think that the card that is only active will get the boosts. At least I think it will. But enough of this. Let and if you activate it, you can actually ride it like this. And it's freaking cool. <laughs> okay, um let's go to the path. Here is something also actually um, Hmm, something is wrong with my character. Yeah, go figures. Here we go. So here is nothing that is really new in the backpack. It's just uh, the same. Let's go to the farm. Now in the I recommend to do this every day because if there is a significant reason go to the adaption center and try to see if there is a three star pet for to adapt you can adapt every pet if you like but the three one is the most necessary one if you want to use the amrita pills for something else so you can use the Amrita pills to upgrade your pet star level to higher. No, no, no month. And you can actually use to get a little bit more boosts. What I mean about this, let's go to the fosters. So here we can see there is new things. With the Amrita pills we can upgrade the stars but and with thousand leaves this is still the same and the pet shape I guess this is the car this the 
summoning card that we can actually get but here is the bed form different bed forms can be displayed in the walking hall after being awakened awakening a pet needs a corresponding summoning card which can be received from guarding hunt refinement awaken a pet to receive a buff life guardian and life and energy conservation. The, awoke, the awakening buffs can be stacked and are activated automatically. Turn to boost your pet equipment stats. The stats will be into effect after you equip the equipment, the stats of which are boosted. You can transfer the path of 3 star or above into turn XP. The higher level of pet is, the more XP you get. You can get. So let's go to the pet turn. I've been doing this for a while now, but it's nothing that serious. So you have the pet that is in the battle mode, like my shiny green bub is. You will get. You can actually upgrade them to get the new attributes. Like here, I'm trying to get the weapon up. And you can turn all your pets into the turn XP. 3 level will always have 11. The 4 star will have 101. And 5 star will have 1001. And the first row needs 100. Here I turn my bet into the XP. And it will be gone. And it will be there. You can also buy the turn stones that provides 10 points but they cost 70 coins per piece so that's very very expensive. If you want to turn your bets into more higher star level then you can use the Amrita pillows for that. Okay um, What else? Hmm. Oof. If I could remember. Well, there's nothing. Well, maybe I could show it. If you are in the daily check in, if you actually check in, you can actually claim something like this. I can claim this, but it's locked. I think you can you will get it once you have every single check in done and you will get this I have no idea <laughs> probably but yeah also um in the past last video I showed you that you can use these skills and with the pet heart uh, criticals hit with your pet. Uh, I'll be showing the of if my game l lets me to do it. I'll go quickly to the and cave so what I mean about this that you use use this kind of skill this and this skill before the critical hit it will actually let you throw it but right now it is patched I'll show what I mean So what I mean about this, um, so you can use this and this, this first and this, and it, in the before this update you were actually able to do that, but right now you cannot do. I'll I'll show you that it doesn't let you do it. <laughs> 
so you'd use the dash and like the pierce then the growing seed but like you see I'm clicking it I'm pressing it but nothing happens so it doesn't let you do it it is it is patched it cannot be done and you can use even the single recovery and it still doesn't let you do it so yeah anything with the mount scales that you have done so uh, acquired so far you cannot do it there's no way you can do it with the dash and the pierce and the crowing seed you were able to wreck pretty much anything but that has been patched and it is very unfortunate but there is nothing I can do about that so yeah I guess that's all I can give to you there's really much nothing here that I can give to you right now so I hope you guys enjoy this hopefully it give you some more information and I'll see you back in more update videos or maybe something else so stay awesome and peace out